two, three, come on. Just left Cher with that brand new hair. Look nice and sweet like something could have Cherine Scarlett. That's the name given to her by her parents, but you may know her as DHQ Cher. That is who we have in our seat this week for one on one. We're going to have a chat with her because we've, you know her as a dancer. But today she is a full-fledged businesswoman. I'm talking hair, beauty products, nails, anything you want, sure have it. Hi Cher, how are you? Hi, and it's Cher Luxerdal these days. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's the DHQ No. Cher Luxerdal. No, the DHQ Cher was five years ago. Okay, okay. Yes. All right, so um, let's start with a little bit of fashion icebreaker because we know hair, makeup, Mm -hmm. Beauty, that is your industry right now. Colored hair or classic black dresses? Colored hair. Colored hair. Is that the st still the dance all in you? No. It's just sometimes you want to have a different look. You don't want to look the same every day. So, like for me, my look for going out every day to go is black. But when I want to run out, rush out, <laughs> colored hair. Yeah. Summertime, colored hair is the thing lengths and colors okay okay sneakers or heels i'm not a girly girl I but if i'm doing an interview if i'm going out with my boyfriend of course i'm a heels girl yeah. but day to day i'm a slippers and a sneakers kind of girl what's the worst style choice that you you have ever made you know you always look good on the gram and thing but do you always get it right not necessarily sometimes like deep cut clothing You'll be walking and then your boobs is outside and you're not even on. Alright, what item of clothing can a man wear on a date that will be a complete turn off for you? Dirty shoes. <laughs> Me and the dirty shoes, man, they're not going to work. Alright, so a lot of persons were introduced to you mm -hmm. in the dancehall industry, the dancehall space. They know you as DHQ Cher. Yeah. But as you said in your introduction, you are now Cher Luxury Doll. When did you decide that you wanted to step away from dancing and the dance hall space? Um, I remember sitting in my room, sad. Mm -hmm. It was a time when I wanted more for myself. But don't get me wrong, dancing brings me far away because I've been in it for almost 10 years. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you have to know to move forward. I need something stable now. So I sit in my room and I got my thinking chair and then I said, okay. I can do here because I've been doing here before dancing. Mm -hmm. I used to do here at the back of my yard and then I said no. Let me just do what I know what to do best. Mm -hmm. So I just throw my look around her bin, 15,000 a week, get my first partner draw, and buy my first decks, my first salon chairs. And for tell you the truth, the renovation money, I don't know where it come from. I just got it and every week when tell for buyer a board is to buy the money just come and that's just honest truth <laughs> um the products them come after because my business has been good mm -hmm. as you can see mm -hmm. it's been doing very very great thanks be to God. and thank you to my fans mm -hmm. i love you guys and thank you to my clients love on to death all right so you spoke about you know your talent for doing mm -hmm. here that you started in your, yes. in your backyard but i remember listening to an interview with, where you said you know you got that from your mom actually <laughs> Yes, definitely. Um, my mom used to do hair. Same way at my home. Nails, hair, everything. Because my mom, she was just like me. Mm -hmm. Yes. She was a dancehall person. Out every night, the flashiest clothes, the big earring, the nose ring, everything I can think of. So I was looking at my mom and I was like, that's what I want to be when I grow up. Everything about my mom. And that is definitely me, the splitting image. All right, sure. Take me to that moment when you first opened your store. You opened when? December 2018. Okay. The 14th. And what was that like, you know, coming into the shop, knowing that, you know, this is what you built from the ground up. I know you, you are actually open to the public. What was that feeling like? Great. To know that you linked a company and tell them that this is a vision and then you're walking and the vision is there, like that's overwhelming. And then to know that now I'm gonna have a business that is my brand and that I can do whatever I want to do with it to bring it where it needs to go is something, is a feeling I can't explain. Did you have any issues bringing clients into the shop? Mm. Or because of your dance or background that they kinda just came? 
at first I was nervous because I was thinking that, oh, am I going to pay my rent? One day people are going to come because they know me as a dancer, they might believe me that me as a hairstylist, but mm -hmm. thanks be to God, it's been almost four years now and I've never not have anybody walking through the door. All right, so you have the salon now mm -hmm. and you are getting the clients, mm -hmm. but then you wanted more. Yes, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I've been in here and I've been using a lot of different, different glues and a lot of different, different products and people complaining, oh, my ear is not lasting that long. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to do my own brand again. This is another business, another way for me to give things to my client that they're comfortable with. So, you know, I went to China, I think 2019 and I met with some suppliers over there and you know from then i've been so in testing a proper, proper business yes you know china. china 18 hours away listen when you want good you know it's a fur run so based on the facts that me know said that's where i have to go to get it done i'm going to go here to get it done mm -hmm. and i have not been sad since trust me my products are the best mm -hmm. no complaint listen i have on my week from i've been to far until now look here it don't move. It don't move. This is not Gorilla Glue, this is Luxury Glue. Okay, <laughs> and it still don't move. It don't move, I'm telling you. All right, how do you manage all of that? Um, do you ever get flustered? Does it get overwhelming? Yeah. It's tiring. Keeping track of investments, keeping track of your stocks, how much is there, but... Because you handle everything, even your books? Everything. Mm -hmm. But for the books part, um, you're not going to get everything one go. Business is a learning process. Every year, I think I know it, I have it part, then next year, something come up, we ain't know about. So it's like everything is a learning process. I mean, they have systems, I put in a system in place mm -hmm. to do stock checking and all of that. So, you know, it gets easier each year. So the longer you're in it, the more you learn the tricks and the trade to it. All right, so you said it started in December 2018. That's when yes. you opened your shop. Yes. You had at least a good, excellent year. And then March 2020 was COVID. Here comes COVID. Like two years into you opening your business. What was that like? Because when people don't want them, they don't hear. It was, it was sad. It was a bad experience for me. And I know most persons with salon business. Because remember, they don't have us as essential workers. Mm -hmm. So at this point in time, I have to go in my thinking chair yet again to see what am I going to do to keep paying my bills because at the end of the day, clients are not going to walk in to do their hair. Nothing is keeping, nothing now gone. So what I do is I just use myself again. I just start some local promotion on the gram. Um, promote a business here, you know, for persons that have online business. But the um, products were still shipping out. Mm -hmm. So that's what keep me going. Products were still shipping out because, you know, the persons them overseas was more freely than us here. Mm -hmm. They could have moved about and party. So that is what so your overseas saves me. clients yes. kept your business afloat during Upflow. during that time. Yes. And persons on Instagram that does promotional businesses. Mm -hmm. So I promote for them and I get paid. All right. So we we've moved into launching your business to you expanding your business. Yes. What else is on the horizon for you as a businesswoman? I mean, I can't, I can't, I don't want to jinx myself. I don't <laughs> want to. I'm sure, I'm sure. I have a lot coming. Because listen, here. listen, trendsetter can't just tell you their business, okay? They mm -hmm. just drop things and let things happen. But I have a lot coming and I have a lot doing now that I don't want to jinx myself. And I think a lot of persons do that, talk about stuff before it happens. Mm -hmm. And not one. I like to set things into place, make sure it's ready, then I drop it. Because as I stated, I'm a perfectionist and I have no room for mistakes. I don't want to come and say, okay, I'm going to do this. And then everybody says, oh, should I do it yet? Mm -hmm. But trust me, this year, I'm going to play with it. Believe me. <laughs> A lot more to come. How happy are you with your growth? I mean, you said you didn't want to do the whole dancing thing mm -hmm. forever. How happy are you that you made the decision to transition to business and then the decision to grow that business? How happy are you? 100%. Because now... I can see I'm a house owner, I can see I own cars, I can see I started another business from this business. Mm -hmm. So right now, I'm in a great position than I was five years ago or even four years ago. So this was the best decision I ever made in my life. Business 
is the way to go. And the only thing is, you just have to know to run your business. Mm -hmm. What's the best piece of advice that you got during the whole entire process? Something that somebody said to you that kept you going? Always put your business first. And that's the best advice. So, on the matter come and share shop, <laughs> don't put no money. No. Don't put no money no. and come. Don't friend out my business, don't joke it out. My wigs are expensive, products are expensive, to ship them in is expensive. So, I have to just know that business is business mm -hmm. at all times, whether you're a friend, whether you're a family, whether you're a client. Business is business. You have obviously learned a lot yes. over the last five years. Somebody out there who wants to start a business but are afraid of taking that leap, mm -hmm. what would be your advice to them? Start your business, don't be afraid. My best advice is make sure that what you're going into is what you love because if you don't love what you're doing, you're going to joke it out and you don't have no room to joke because you're spending money. Business takes money, it takes time and it takes knowledge. So just, it's a learning process, it's going to be hard. Just know that you're on this journey to do it and just do it and stay focused. Solid, solid advice. I mean, what do you want your legacy to be when all is said and done? So people have probably forgot now completely that you used to dance. We don't see you dancing anymore. I mean, we no. the only face that we really see mm -hmm. is the luxury brand. Yes. So what do you want your legacy to be? My, I want my legacy to be share the ear guru. You know the hair guru yeah and the brand itself i want him to remember that this product is the best because i don't joke about my products i take weeks sometimes months into production just to make sure that i'm putting out the best so i want him to always remember that sure she always do our best and she put out the best mm -hmm. whether it's hair whether it's glue whatever it's skin product whether it's waist trainer whatever i do i do it to my best ability it was surprising you know, because i thought people had loved me more when i was dancing mm -hmm. but now turning into a businesswoman you realize that other persons bigger than you start look up to you even more it's a different thing now into my business like persons used to call me um how much to book you you tell them 2000 us them ball like now they can't tell me nothing mm -hmm. they know that you're taking me out of a shop that i can make that within a day mm -hmm. so now you have to talk real money to me so yeah. now you have to respect me so you understand so to our nice. yeah <laughs> so now it's different i already had another level to my name so now you can't price me i'm already been priced and you know that my expectations are here so you can't come to me with a joke money you have to talk no no okay. joke thing you have to talk serious to the doll yeah <laughs> <laughs> talk serious to the doll <laughs> yeah all yeah. right thank you so much Sherry. thank you again this was one on one with Cher Luxury Doll. Cher Luxury Doll. Yes. You heard her journey. You have seen her growth from dancehall to businesswoman. Yes. Talk to her nice one in the CR and the streets. Crazy. Girl of our brand and thing. Yeah. Doing good things, making boss moves. <laughs>